We're bringing you the way we hear it from Pro Football Weekly and Hub. Let's start off with a team that was really expected to do well this year. The St. Louis Rams, for many people, are the favorites to win the NFC West. Off to a terrible start. I know a lot of it's the schedule, but what are you hearing out in St. Louis? Well, let's be clear. Steve Spagnuolo, the head coach, is in no jeopardy right now. Nobody's suggesting he's going to lose his job. But we are hearing that the natives are getting very restless, and if the season doesn't get turned soon, he will be in trouble at the end of the year. Now, that's not what anybody expected with a team coming off of a big improvement last year and picked by many to finish first in the NFC West. They've been terrible so far and getting blown out at home by the Ravens last week really didn't help. And it's really the defense that people are surprised by. Now we knew that Sam Bradford might struggle a little bit getting to know Josh McDaniel's system. He has. He's not doing very well in the system. But it's on defense where they brought in outside linebackers Ben Lieber and Brady Papinga. Justin King's been terrible at cornerback. Fred Robbins such a good year last year on the defensive line. Looks like he's aged 20 years. They can't stop anybody and that's Spag's specialty. And that he's got to get turned. If they get knocked off again this week and 0-4 start, the pressure is really going to start to mount on him. And if you look at their schedule, we know it was brutal early. If they don't win this week, you could be looking at an 0-8 start from this team that many expected to win now. I mean, do, is it just the players? Is it, What is it that's not working right now? Well, it certainly is players at the end of the day when it comes back to this, but some people are starting to question the system. Everybody thought Josh McDaniels maybe not meant to be a head coach, but a great offensive coordinator. Is it too much for young Bradford to handle right now without the receivers to work with? Whatever it is, the pressure is starting to build on Steve Spagnuolo. Yeah, in Tennessee, pretty good start for the Titans, but a disappointing loss last week in Kenny Britt. The kid was just starting to come on and play well again this year. And one worry is it's not someone you want to have a lot of free time for. It's a huge concern for two reasons. One, he's got a Hall of Fame ability, and he's shown some of that on the field. But number two, the kid gets in trouble, and yeah. they're worried. He's not the most focused kid in the world. He's not a detailed guy. They're very concerned about what might happen with the next year spent rehabbing that ACL. Now, he is still staying in Nashville. They're very happy about that. A lot of his problems have been in New Jersey. As long as they can keep him close, they think they can keep an eye on him. But the team is not shy about it. They've acknowledged they are concerned about this young man's career, not just because of the injury, but keeping him now on the straight and narrow as he rehabs. Yeah, we saw it a little bit during the lockout. You hope that he keeps it together because the kid has so much talent. You really want to see him do well. That's the way we hear it from around the league for the best coverage of the NFL. Check us out at ProFootballWeekly.com.